Hi guys, so I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on getting creative with your Christmas lights. So, probably all got our trees up by now, haven't we? And uh, lights all around the house. So, what can you do with them with your camera? Well, I've been promising to do this for a while, and I've been making sort of silly patterns with Christmas lights for a few years now. So, I'm now going to share the technique with you for those of you that uh, haven't already done it. Now, um, most of you have probably tried ordinary light trails out and about in the streets when you stick your camera on a tripod and make nice patterns with moving lights, normally cars, but it could be anything, obviously. Um, and the principle there is that the camera is still and the light sources are moving and wherever those lights go, they create patterns. Now, your Christmas tree is not going anywhere, and I should start worrying if it did, but you can move your camera. So that's the principle, really. It's sort of the reverse of ordinary light trails where you move the camera to create patterns with your Christmas lights. And it needn't be a tree, it can be uh, fairy lights hung up, or um, even Christmas lights out in the street. So, But yeah, the principle is you move the camera, and the lights create a pattern. Now, when you start, it's probably a good idea to do fairly random abstract patterns, and swirls, and things like that, and zigzags, just to get the idea of what you're doing. But you can move on then to more creative and fancy, tricky things like stars and hearts. And... They're more difficult because you have to start and finish in the same place, which sounds easy in principle, but I promise you, uh, when you start, um, you will be all over the place with them. And I'll share you some of mine, some good ones, and some um, near misses, and some pretty poor efforts, just to make you feel at home, because uh, we all do it. Uh, the more of these that you try, the better your technique gets. But basic principles, shutter priority for random shapes you know you just you, you play around two three four five seconds and you know, move your camera around to see what sort of patterns you get but as you move on to the trickier stuff like hearts and stars the five pointed stars i find are the the easiest to do because it's like the stars you drew as a as a kid where you could just um keep the pen on the on the paper and do your you know, your five pointed thing like that start and finish in the same place uh, five seconds, one second per side for your five-pointed star. Count the seconds off in your head as you move in. That seems to be the, the way that works for me. Two or three seconds for a heart, because obviously it's a simpler shape. Again, you can count the seconds off in your in your head as you're doing it. And um, do small movements. Don't sort of do big extravagant movements like that. Just do small movements, and you'll find it gives a nicer pattern, nice results. And it's also easier to start finishing the same place. And can you hear the pitter pattering of Foxy's little feet as he walks in on the laminate floor? Um, <laughs> there he goes again, audience participation. Get the settee now with Willis. But uh, yeah, so that's the principle of it. Shutter priority, similar to when you're doing light trails out and about. Um, you'd have to go do sort of 20, 30 second ones. That'd be, that'd be silly with these sorts of lights. Um, two to three second exposures for your hearts, five seconds for your five pointed stars. Um, oh, ISO of about 800 because you're probably working in uh, fairly dark conditions. But again, experiment with that. You wouldn't necessarily need that if you were doing them now in sort of daylight, which you can you can still do. Um, in total darkness, you might want to push the ISO a little bit higher. Um, another thing you can do, of course, is you can use your phone to do these. In some ways, it's it's a lot easier to use your phone um, if you've got a light painting mode, which I think most do these days. Um, and you just press the shutter to start the movement, do the movement, press it again to stop it. And uh, that seems to work quite well. I'll post one of those that I took with my phone when I realised I could do it with a phone um, without having to set the DSLR up. Um, I think the the results are obviously still better with a with a big camera, but um, certainly if anybody this Christmas says that they're bored, especially um, uh, under 18s, um, just show them this video. Tell them to get the phones out and uh, start creating stars and hearts and nice patterns with the with the Christmas tree lights. Um, honestly, it sounds silly, but it it, it is great fun. And uh, <clears throat> trust me. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, can be very frustrating as all these things are when you first start, but you get some nice results and you can impress your neighbours and friends and family. Um, so yeah, that's uh, how to get creative with your Christmas lights and uh, sort out bored kids. Um, but anyway, yeah. To recap, 
Uh, it's like reverse light, uh, light trails that you would do with cars out and about. Uh, but instead of having the camera steady and the lights move, the lights are steady and you move the camera. Okay, go into shutter priority if you're using a, a big camera. Um, three seconds, two, three seconds if you're doing something like a heart or uh, some sort of random shapes. Five seconds for a, a five-pointed star, uh, 800 ISO or higher if it's very dark, but you can experiment with that. And uh, small movements, not big extravagant movements. And try to start and finish in the same place if it's something like a heart or a star that you have to do that with. But honestly, just experiment. It's like everything else. The more you try it, the better you'll get. Um, the more fun you'll have. I'm sure you'll think of ideas that I haven't thought of yet. Um, when I was doing it the other day, I thought of uh, heart rate monitor patterns. You know, the old things you see in uh, hospital films where, you know, you sort of go on like that. Beep, beep, like that. You do that with Christmas tree lights. All very silly. All good fun. But literally, the sky's the limit with these sorts of things. It's your imagination. That's the only thing that will uh, limit you, really. So, there's the Christmas tree. I'll post, as I say, lots of uh, uh, good and, uh, and poor efforts I've done myself. If you've got any other ideas, how to get creative with Christmas lights, because I know there's lots of you out there that do do stuff, um, yeah, add it in the comments section, link to any videos you've made. Uh, let's, uh, let's share our creativity this Christmas. Thank you.